check this out. I've had so much grass all over this trailer mowing for the last couple weeks. It's actually starting to grow on the trailer. Look at it. It's growing straight up. Roots and all growing right on the trailer. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. back my life inside a car Hit the button, drive real far So me and this guy knocked out this property. Now, I've showed you guys this before. I showed you the aerial view, the drone view, um, before I started mowing this this year. This is my church. We were able to mow that little bit of a uh, wet spot we got into there. But we took care of all that. This here is all way too wet to mow. It's all swampy and you can see that little part there, the front half of that, I mowed that. Got that little part taken care of. 
and then you've seen that I filmed all of that. I was able to mow all that. I ran into one little spot across the front there where I started to leave a couple tracks, but no ruts. Those little parts, I would have push mowed them, but I was done push mow for the day. Now I have a spot back here that I didn't have to do, but it was getting eight, nine inches tall, real thick. It's been real wet. It's real swampy. There's huge valleys with valleys, like puddle areas, low spots that are holding a lot of water. This part here, I didn't cut. I cut half of it last week and started to leave some marks and I left it. Nobody here at the church even cares. It's more that I care, but there is, I'll show you in a second, there's a huge part that I just, you know, everyone at the church is like, just wait till it dries, it's no big deal. Then you can mow it down, double cut it or bag it, whatever you gotta do. But it was bothering me. And in my experience, usually happens to where if you don't knock it down with all the rain we've been getting and the rain we still have in the forecast, you're never gonna dry it out. And that's this area here. This huge area all across here. It goes right up to that front where you saw me mowing that front side. And it goes all the way over to here. And I will include a final picture right here. And so I push mowed that entire thing with the Toro Time Master 30. That's more push mowing than I've ever done in my life at any one time. It took me an hour and 38 minutes and a tank and a half of fuel in the, uh, in the Toro Time Master. A tank and a half. So that's not bad. I really thought it would take more, but it didn't.